Today we're going to be using a Binks model number no. 7 to spray some TCP Global acrylic urethane. To get a dust free paint job I like to clean up the general area and then with the air hose and my bare hand and it's nice and dry I go like that and I can feel some dust on there. I already blew it off but I can feel dust and I have a nice clean pant leg. I blow that nice and clean and dry blow my hand dry and go like this and I have dust on my hand and I just wipe like that and then I wipe it on my pant leg when my pant leg gets dusty I blow it dry after each wipe I wipe it on my pant leg And then we'll pick up anything left with a dust uh, tack cloth. And I'm just wiping real nice and light. And that should have picked up anything left. If you're interested, you can find the tools, materials, and mix ratio in the video description. This first coat is going to be a tack coat, which just gets the paint to stick. And we are going to be at about 25 PSI at the gun, and it's 73 degrees. The second coat will be medium to wet. We waited 15 minutes in between coats and it's 73 degrees in here. Now this is sort of strange. We have a bug in the paint and it's the middle of November. So we're going to use a tweezers like this and we're going to do our best to be steady and just go for it and pick them out. So I'm going to hold my wrist with one hand and I'm just going to dive in there and grab them. All in one, all in one swipe. So I got to get real steady.
He's stuck. Now I'm going to just try to use a point like this and try to just dig them out of there. Looks like we're going to have to wheel this guy out right here. Now I lifted them up. I should be able to get them now with the with the tweezers. So I'm gonna try this one. Man, that is a bummer. There. Yeah. That's about as good as we can get. We're gonna hit her with the spray gun one time and then hopefully it'll cover that up we waited 15 minutes this will be the last coat it'll be a wet coat we're spraying right around 25 psi at the gun and it's 71 degrees And here's a close-up shot of that bug after the paint was allowed to dry overnight. Just a little bit of his leg or maybe a wing left there. And we can sand that out or wet sand it out with some 1200 and buff it. At one time, the Binks Model 7 was considered the king of all spray guns. And it still does quite a nice job. I hope you enjoyed this video on spraying TCP Global's acrylic urethane. And if you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.